There's a saying that a picture's worth a thousand words. San Diego History Center has photos that speak volumes about African Americans in San Diego throughout the decades. Take these portraits from the 1890s, described as woman with a parasol and man with a derby hat. Marketing manager Shelby Gordon says she's been thinking about the people in these photos and what those images can tell us. People think that blacks coming to San Diego early were not subject to segregation and racism, thinking that California was more progressive. That's not necessarily true. So what I see in those photos is perseverance, that in spite of, in view of the fact, you still got a fine man who takes, has enough respect for himself and his reputation and that of his family, that he wears the finest derby hat he can and then pays a photographer to take a picture of him in it. A diverse array of photos make up the bulk of San Diego History Center's new exhibit, Celebrate San Diego, Black History and Heritage. I'm a black San Diegan, so a lot of these are snapshots of my life. Um, I was baptized in a pool like this. I know ladies who lunch in that photograph. They dressed up, they ate outside, they had beautiful tablecloths, and I'm really glad that we have these kinds of photos to remember that. Many of these are from the Norman Baynard photo collection. Mr. Baynard, who was a, a black portrait and events photographer here for decades. His son literally brought us negatives and prints from his collection, which is extensive. A collection housed in the archives at Balboa Park. We are in the research archives. We are below the floor, below the exhibition space. And this is sacred ground. <laughs> there are and newspapers and microfiche and negatives and prints. The Black Archives collection also contains documents and ephemera, ranging from the Spanish colonial census of 1798 to the Black newspaper, The Lighthouse. They talk about things that are still relevant now. Coming out to vote about Central High School, even though that happened in Little Rock, Arkansas, it was a significant milestone in race relations, and that is depicted on the front page of the San Diego Lighthouse. There are also items that have been donated. This is a book from Bethel AME Church, and that's um, African Methodist Episcopalian. This was their commemorative book for their 100th anniversary. And again, for us to be able to have this here is a real feat, because that right there is a capsule. That's a time capsule. And then last year, Jackie Thompson, who was an Olympic athlete, actually ran, went to Morris High School, ran with Mickey's Missiles, and she donated her Olympic competitor number to us here at the center. But there are gaps in the black history the center has gathered. And we said then what a great idea then to go to the community so that they can insert their memories, their reflections, their milestones, their photographs, their art to be inserted into our virtual timeline. A virtual timeline gathering all these materials can be found at the San Diego History Center website where people can look through images that tell amazing stories. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.